All right, we're at 45 feet. Let's go ahead and up periscope just to lols. You thought I was bad at this game? Look at the Soviets. They drove into the wall. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are noobs. Oh, my God. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. This is why I won. They're worse than I am at this game. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's go home. I'm, go I'm, I'm buying everybody Arby's. We're, go we're going we're gonna to have some Arby's. Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Cold Waters, a Cold War naval simulation game where we'll be taking command of a U.S. submarine, specifically the Los Angeles class, as the Soviet Union has pushed into Norway, into all those NATO nations. Uh, looks like the city of Narvik has been captured. The harbor has been captured by Soviet forces, and we're going to go in there and start destroying everything that we can. We're going to load up with some Navy SEALs here today and see if we can sneak past the uh, enemy's ASW, or anti-ship warfare patrols, and see if we can land a a team of Navy SEALs to sabotage ships, communications, whatever their target may be. We got to get them there. So go ahead and get this one up to a thousand likes if you want to see more of this game. And good news, there is a big new campaign coming as well for the South China Sea, which will engage the Chinese Navy with the U.S. and perhaps the Soviets in the Pacific as well. So if you want to see more of this one, go ahead and blow it up. And if you're new here and you subscribe, go ahead and uh, check out the playlist where we'll be playing through a lot more of these missions where I have already, where we blow up, for example, an aircraft carrier, big strategic ships, huge battle cruisers, and of course, the uh, Red October itself. So if you want to go ahead and check those out, check the playlist. And if you're a former or current U.S. Naval Service personnel or anyone from the NATO nations, go ahead and say hi or anyone down below, uh, and I'll go ahead and heart your comment. Give us a good story. Let me know what ship you were on or what you're on, what your job may be if you can, and we'll say hi to you as well. So number eight, the Narvik Caper, uh, 22nd of March, 1984, run the ASW gauntlet to convertly uh, insert a special forces team into occupied Narvik. Primary objective is to load a uh, special forces team on board the submarine and then to release that team within the deployment zone. Secondary objective is to avoid detection. This is going to be very difficult, folks. So if you're into uh, submarine warfare type games, this game is fantastic. Highly recommended and is only going to get better with the addition of one more new campaign in South China. It's going to be really cool. So uh, there is a campaign already in 1984 and 1968. So you can play with all the U.S. submarines from then. And there's even mods that allow you to have Russian subs so there's plenty to do in this game for sure I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, Los Angeles class nuclear submarine just because it's a little bit easier and this mission is very difficult I think I may have uh, practiced it once before long ago but it is time to do it for real now with a crew of 129 and a top speed of 33 knots hopefully we're able to do this you can see all the details here on all the uh, information about this uh, submarine such as that it carries a tomahawk and anti-ship missiles as well as the mark 48 torpedoes and moss decoys without further ado let's get started folks and welcome aboard the uss albuquerque ssn 706 congratulations and good luck on the new command all right here we are captain we have a new sonar contact bearing 79 designate sierra one our depth is 425 feet, heading is 90, speed is 5 knots. It is a clear light air day with moderate surface duct and a moderate thermal layer of uh, 239 feet. All right, exo status report. First and foremost, we're going to go ahead and load our special ops before we go into battle. If we didn't do that, it would be an immediate mission fail. We're also going to load one Moss torpedo as well, which is a decoy to uh, possibly uh, deter the enemy into attacking us and attacking a decoy instead. So let's go ahead and see if we can reload this torpedo with the, uh, looks like I can't actually do that. Oh, we have no, we have no moss. Oh, no moss. No good. Uh-oh. Actually, wait. Oh, all we have then is four, uh, torpedoes. We have no decoys then. All right, because we had to load on the, uh, the, actually, well, we should be able to make changes to that. I guess not. Well, because we loaded special forces, we're not able to do that. So uh, we'll have to just make do with what we've got. I don't see a way to actually change that, so we'll have to make do. All right, uh, all hands, man battle stations. Here we go. I was definitely going to uh, bring in a uh, Moss torpedo, but it doesn't look like we have one. Zero, seven, nine, designated Sierra one. Okay, we are going to start picking up on Con enemy forces. Contact bearing one, zero, four, designated Sierra two. They're going to start labeling off all the ships then that are facing off against us. We're going to start identifying them now through the sonar. And I'm doing this manually here. So let's see if we can find out what ships the Soviets Con may have against us. New contact bearing one, 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 designated Sierra three. All right, I think the first one was a Gersha. We're looking or listening to their sound signature here on the sonar to see if we can pinpoint exactly what type of ships will be facing off against us. It looks like two thin lines here on the right, so we're just trying to find exactly 
the correct ship to this one. That might be it right there. The Riga. That's got to be it. Con sonar. Sierra 2 is classified as escort. All right, that's an escort ship. And it looks like this may also be a Riga. So let's go ahead and identify that one as well. Con sonar. Sierra 3 is classified as escort. Okay, so I think we've identified all three of these ships that we've spotted so far, or that we have on our sonar. Let's go ahead and go back to our submarine then, and uh, we won't be able to see these guys yet. Let's rig ship for ultra quiet. Rig ship for ultra quiet. And that is done, and we're now going to uh, increase our depth slightly, so that way we can try to get under these ships. Now, this is a very narrow corridor. As you can see here, this is the city of Narvik that has been under occupation by the Soviets, and we're going to send in that SEAL team, but we have to get to this deployment zone here, which is this light blue circle. So it's up to us to try to sneak past three of these ships that we've identified, and the Navy SEALs should be able to hit their targets over here somewhere. I don't know if they're attacking ships. I don't know if they're attacking weapons storage or the troops themselves. I'm not sure, but our Naval uh, SEAL team will have to do their job after we do ours. So let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit, and uh, we're going to uh, try to sneak past that uh, Grisha 3. It's best to stay in the baffles from uh, what I experienced or what I understand is behind the ship where the engine's noise is... Uh, oh, it looks like it's a pody. Alright, looks like the uh, designation has changed to a poti now, or a poti, from the Riga. So they've re-identified that. We're going to try to stay behind that ship and away from that ship. But it looks like he's turning. Sonar new contact bearing one. Zero, eight, designated Sierra, four. Well, looks like he's coming right for us now. He's going to make a tight right turn, and he's going to be right on top of us. He's going to pursue. All right. Looks like we have ourselves a fight. It's not going to be a stealth mission anymore. Well, in order to preserve our safety and our mission, it is now time to engage that ship. Let's go ahead and level off. Passing 700 feet. Rudder at 30, or 700 feet. We have to engage. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra four. Last bearing one zero eight. Contact faded. All right, let's go ahead and get ready. Get ready with the torpedoes. We're gonna go ahead and activate sonar. Put it in a circular pattern and try to hit the surface. Here we go. Stop our turning and wait. He's not coming for us. He's actually executing a turn further to the right. Hold on. Ah, hell, I want to see some stuff blow up. Alright, 3, 2, 1, shoot, tube 1. <laughs> Let's get him, boys. Alright, here we go. Let's blow up all these ships in here. Let's make it fun. Stealth missions are exciting, but torpedoes are even better. Alright, the Riga now is going to be on the run, or the Poti. It's going to be on the run here. Here he goes. Dropping a noisemaker there. But too little, too late. She's going to get hit. Here it comes. She's running. Alright, they fired a countermeasure. Torpedo is going to circle around. She's going to swing back right into it. There goes our torpedo. She's on to him. That's it. GG, Soviets. Oh! Beautiful. Excellent. Okay, so obviously a stealth mission, but uh, I want to go for a little bit more excitement here, so <laughs> we're going to blow up all the ships in here. So it is very, this is probably one of the most difficult missions in the game. We have four torpedoes, so we cannot miss once. All right, so it looks like we've uh, eliminated our first contact. So let's go ahead and speed up time now. The Soviets are definitely on to us. They've radioed ahead to other ships and said that we're here. They know it. And there goes that ship to the bottom. Davy Jones. All right, that ship has been eliminated. Very good. All right, we're going to proceed on now, ultra-quiet mode. Looks like Riga and uh, two Rigas here are in patrol patterns. I hope we identified those correctly, listening to the signatures. 
Looks like those are matching up correctly. Possibly. I'm not seeing a line here. So this could be a different ship. It's better to tell when we get a little closer. Let's see if we can re-identify. Con sonar lost contact. Oh. Sierra three. Last bearing zero nine nine. Contact faded. All right, contact has faded. Now, of course, in Con this game, sonar lost contact. very exciting zero, to uh, sneak by. Last bearing one zero three. Contact faded. But more exciting to have an engagement with enemy ships. Okay, next ship coming up is the Riga S two. And there she is, a little bigger than the one we just engaged. You can see all the weapon systems aboard. Missile launchers for uh, depth charges to Con what seems to be maybe 76 millimeters. Sierra three, bearing one, zero, three. Very nicely decorated ship. You can see the radar pumping away too. Very cool. You can even see uh, naval personnel aboard in the back there. That's really detailed. Very cool. Okay, well, we know we're about to engage them again. And it looks like they're swinging, swinging to the side. A lot more epic if you can be stealthful, but also a lot more, uh, a lot more cool to just blow something up as well. Navy SEALs are still aboard. They're uh, probably having lunch right about now. All right, one enemy ship destroyed. Very cool. This game uh, having some nice uh, updates since the last time I played it. You can actually see some... Uh, some sea life there, marine life uh, in terms of plants and such at the bottom, which makes it look a little better. Riga's making an awfully tight turn there. wonder if he's going to try to come in from the coast and zip across from us. Stay tuned, folks. This is going to get even more exciting. All right, here we go. Now, of course, the campaign is even more insane than this. Oh, looks like we got an engagement. All right, let's go ahead and slow down time. Riga's going to pop out right in front of us. Let's go ahead and turn slightly campaign having many different missions including destroying uh, tenders and transport ships and amphibious landing craft much much to do all right looks like he's turning off to our side and it's going to be right in front of us probably to turn and burn on us if he turns left i'm taking him i hear sh i hear a helicopter enemy helicopter is up above where is it over there, they're listening. Enemy helicopters dropped a uh, listening device in order to detect our location, which means we need to take the Riga now. Get ready to fire. Activate sonar and spin. Go up high. All right. All right, that should come up right behind him. My uh, thought is that this ship will turn to the uh, will turn to the right. If he does, we'll swing and change the uh, direction of our torpedo. I could have fired here, but he could easily turn away from it. But from here, we've got him going out into the open ocean here, rather than towards the shallow water. I want to keep him in deep water here. We'll see what happens. There goes our torpedo. Is that enemy helicopter? Oh, enemy helicopter doing something. What was he up to? Not sure what that chopper's up to. There he is, way out, out in the distance. He hasn't dropped a torpedo or anything. Oh, wait a minute. They are dropping uh, depth charges, possibly. Way off. There goes our torpedo. They have probably detected that already on the Riga. And they're still listening for us. Those listening devices are extremely sensitive. And they probably know we're here. Alright, here it comes. Let's, in let's increase speed now. Swing this one to the left and she should detect the ship. She's on it. There she goes, exactly what we wanted, out into the ocean. Right into the depths. A lot harder to hide from a torpedo in open water. Alright, let's see what happens. Torpedo just below the surface. It's rocketing in. 
Alright, let's keep an eye on it. Very difficult stealth mission. A little easier if you're taking shots at the enemy. Riga's turning. A lot bigger than the other ship. Oh, this is it. Here comes the torpedo. Riga's going to drop countermeasures any second. This is it. Countermeasures in three, two, one. Countermeasures? Nope. All right, let's see what happens. Wow. Sierra two, last bearing zero eight eight. Contact breaking up. No attempt whatsoever from the Soviets to try to uh, even evade that torpedo. Incredible hit. Look at that, folks. We're going to continue on with our uh, our course, but let's watch this one sink. If you've watched this far, a Circle 7 salute down below in that comment section for the men and uh, boys, I guess, aboard that uh, Soviet ship. Maybe women, too. So go ahead and give your Circle 7 salute down there. Amazing. So cool to see these ships burning up, too. Look at that epicness, man. That smoke. Well, I hope they uh, hope they don't see that. That was a, I hope that was a stealth kill. All right, look at all the oil and all the... Oh, look at that. Crazy. Off in the distance, we see yet another Soviet ship. And another one sinking to the bottom. Now, they might have five ships, and if they do, we've already given ourselves away, but at least we won't be ganged up on. Look at that. Incredible. Let's speed things up and watch her sink. Bloop! Alright, that's it for that one. Okay, back to our submarine. And we're continuing on with our same course. There's the ship there off to our left. And we're now coming up on another Riga, which is apparently the last thing that lies in front of us to our landing zone. There's got to be another ship, though. Let's speed up time here. And if we take these ships, I want them out in open water. It makes it easier for our torpedoes to engage them. Looks like that plan actually worked. Came up behind them and got them on the turn. Very nice. Look, it's like he didn't even detect it. His course was just straight the whole time, and he was executing a turn and didn't even see the torpedo. Maybe it's because we came up behind in the baffles. I'm not sure, but uh, a good one that was. Even better than the uh, SC-01 engagement. All right, on to our third one. We can actually, uh, wait a minute. Something's happening. They've slowed down time. Are there depth charges incoming? Nope. Oh, okay, we're good. Let's increase speed. Compression, time compression is what that is. Which means we travel at the same course, same speed, everything's the same. It just uh, makes it happen faster. There's that other ship down there. Two Soviet ships sunk so far. Riga on another patrol pattern. This would be much more epic. I would love to see a better player such as Jive Turkey or someone else just uh, do that. Oh, I'm sure people have done this uh, many times with... Uh, lesser technological uh, ships such as the skipjack or something like that that would be epic trying to do a, a landing with a 60s vessel in the uh, in the 80s that would be impressive we're closing now on that other Riga Sierra 3 and he'll more than likely be turning to his right and coming right up this direction Con sonar new contact bearing zero nine five designated Sierra 5 Sierra 5 all right we've got ourselves Sierra 5. Where was Sierra 4 then? Hmm. How do we know it's not the same as before? Well, we'll still have to sneak past that other ship. If uh, Sierra 3 takes a right-hand turn, we're going to engage. If he goes left, we'll come up behind and see what he does next. We're almost to our uh, deployment zone. Sierra 5, not too happy about what we did. Here comes that submarine again. Or the, uh... <laughs> of course, here comes the submarine. Here comes the helicopter, looking for the submarine. They're tracking us, listening for us. We get to cheat a little bit by looking above the, uh, the ocean surface, but not too hardcore. Mm, Alright, let's adjust depth. Riga is still not on to us. Let's try to identify Sierra 5. Let's level off. 3, 2, 1, level. 
And let's identify that next ship. Sierra 5 on the map. Let's slow down time as we do this. And let's monitor the Riga while we're identifying our next ship. Mm, oh, that might be it right there. Possibly a merchant vessel. Con sonar, Sierra 5 is classified as merchant. Okay, I don't know if we're actually permitted to engage that. If it's a, a Soviet warship, more than likely yes. Well, it looks like this has been marked as hostile. If it were green, that might mean that it's a uh, authorized uh, civilian vessel, which is unlikely in Soviet controlled waters. All right, we're now coming up on the Riga. Helicopter doing its uh, testing over here. You see that? That's got to be our helicopter listening for us again. And there she is, way off in the distance. They're a little off, but they must know we're here. Although the enemy has done nothing in order to engage us. Take a look at Riga. You can see all the weapon types there, how much it weighs, how many crewmen are aboard, what type of guns and torpedoes. The Riga is at some distance before we can engage. Let's adjust depth again. Passing 900 feet. We cannot go any further than about 950 feet. Current depth is about 911. Here we go. In the water. In the water. Now we got Bearing some action. Zero, nine, six. Soviets are on to us now. Those listening devices are awfully sensitive. Torpedo's gonna come down deep. Sure is. Alright. Surprise games are over. One, five knots. Maneuvering eye. There we go. Right up over the top. Con maneuvering. Making turns for one, five knots. Now we're going to go have them go underneath us. And we're going to circle back to the left. There we are. All right, torpedo will now come up behind us as we engage the next ship. We're going for the Riga. Let's engage this ugly beast. Get ready. Up high. And let him have it. Torpedo away, shoot tube three. We're gonna have to break our wire. Noisemakers, get ready. All right, there goes the wire. So that means we will not be able to control the torpedo anymore. It'll have to go off its uh, previous programming to get to its location and then to uh, start its search pattern. I should have put it in a circle, but that's all right. Passing 900 feet. Depth is good. Let's come up a bit now. 15 knots is solid. Passing 900 feet. Up to 20. Make turns for two, zero, She'll see us again. Maneuvering eye. Torpedo seems to have given up the chase, maybe. Making turns for two, zero, knots. Passing 800 feet. Torpedo's actually turning. I thought I put it onto a... Uh, I thought I put it onto a uh, search pattern. Enemy torpedo's onto us again. We definitely don't want to go into our own torpedo. Damn, if only I would have let that thing in a search pattern. Passing 900 feet. Enemy torpedo coming up again quick. Let's level off and increase speed. Passing 1,000 feet. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, that's uh, that's a little past our uh, little beta testing. There we go. That's more like it. Wait a minute. Our torpedo has found the Partisan. It is going for a ship after all. 
end of the enemy torpedo, or it, it's given up chase. I think it's destroyed itself in embarrassment. Looks like uh, this is going to go goodbye. This seems to be loaded with some uh, Android phones, I believe. High tech technology. And oh boy, it's going to have a bad day. <laughs> That's a big one. Well, there goes that Amazon Prime delivery. If any of you have an Amazon uh, Prime delivery that's delayed, that is my bad. We just blew up the delivery truck. All right. Hey, can we get a round of applause for that in chat, by the way? Everybody, go ahead. Hey, give me, give me a round of applause on that one. That one was good. Yeah, all right. All right. Hey, thanks, everybody. Appreciate that. All right. Cool. All right. Riga is our next target, and that uh, damn helicopter is going to continue to engage us. Well, the element of surprise is kind of over now. We'll drop to 900 and continue our course. Make depth 900 feet, dive by. All right, there we go. Adjusting ballast accordingly. Everything should be okay here. We're going to try to sneak past the Riga now. You know, technically, I haven't. We've been very stealth. We've been getting nothing but stealth kills so far. Wow, I can't believe we avoided that torpedo, actually. That helicopter was very accurate with its drops. Helicopters, probably the most deadly. Most deadly thing in the game is helicopters like that. This must be this uh, ship taking this sort of a pattern. That direction. Alright, we'll let the Riga alone then. We did destroy a Soviet... Uh, that's actually a good score. A Soviet supply vessel like that could have been loaded with troops, weapons, munitions of all sorts of types. Food, maybe naval naval uh, reinforcement type things. You know, m munitions. I don't know. Well, to make this a little bit more epic, let's come up behind Riga. And we're at good distance now. Let's go ahead and run for Ultra Quiet. Rig ship for Ultra Quiet. And let's get ready to dance. She's coming in for a little bit of a date, I see. All right. Let's get ready with a regular search pattern on this one. We should be able to engage right about here. Well, we've been getting killed so far. Up to surface. Wait a minute. Are there any other ships? No. Okay. Well, if we engage any others other than the Riga, we're just going to have to make a run for it. Oh boy, you want to dance. I see. Pretty lady. Riga has engaged us. Firing both torpedoes and depth charges. Alright, fair enough. Let's sneak out of here. Make turns for three, three, That's going to be damage. Uh, maybe not. Hell yeah. Woo. Well, actually, some of those weren't as close as they looked. Some visible damage to the hull. We're not getting out of this one unscathed. But neither is the Riga. I'll see you in hell, you ugly bastard. Goodbye, ugly. Alright, let's go ahead and do our damage control now. Ooh, we got some big flooding. All right, she's moving into a circular search pattern. Do not find us. Go find the enemy ship. Do not come towards me. If you just talk to the torpedo nicely, it does. Uh, that does affect it sometimes. What? What? What I say? I'm just. I'm just saying. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Come on in. Kill that ugly. Hull is at 92%, so we did take damage, but it wasn't uh, wasn't more than uh, 8%. And goodbye, Riga. Ba bow. Excellent. Beautiful. All right, that is all enemy ships destroyed, from what I could see. Much more exciting than sneaking past, I'd say. Man, look at it burn. That is epic. There goes that Soviet naval uh, flag down below. And we're taking on a lot of water. We have some severe flooding. Let's go up to periscope depth. Plenty of decoys remaining. 
Alright, that, uh, damn helicopter's still around, though. We still have a threat that direction. Alright, let's go to, uh, set course for the, uh, deployment zone. Con sonar. We are cavitating. Damn it. Oh, I forgot to turn down go the... Left to see a rig ship for ultra quiet. thought we were ultra quiet. Well, there's Con no doubt that helicopter no knows where we are now. And we're getting pinged off this direction. Enemy torpedoes, probably still in the water. And probably the uh, search vessel, or the uh, helicopter. There she is, you ugly, ug oh, there's two of them. And they're on to us. Damage control parties, lay into the engine room. All right, well, we can't rig for ultra quiet any longer. Damage control parties are doing their thing. Uh-oh. And there's a torpedo. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra four bearing zero nine seven. Oh no. There's an enemy ship out there somewhere. Sierra four. Oh boy, there's still con a contact. Sonar, new contact bearing zero one five. Designated Sierra six. Alright, we're far from being done with these guys. Sierra six. Sierra 4, apparently it's on land. Apparently it's being constructed. <laughs> Our sonar's so far off, it's actually in the harbor. Like, it's literally on the road. Enemy torpedoes are searching, but they're far off. And our repair crews are repairing our uh, damaged submarine now. Uh, getting rid of the flooding, at least. And, uh, let's see here. Doesn't tell us any more information about that. Alright, are we setting course? Did we... Oh, God. Sierra 4 is directly in the drop zone. Damn. Gonna have to wait for him to leave, though we'll get a little closer and find out if that's the case. Head this direction. Come right to one zero eight helm I. Fire control. Damage control parties. Lay to the control room. All right, a lot of our damage seems to be actually in the uh, back end of the ship, or the boat, or oh, actually no, nope, nope, got bumped in the nose a little bit too by those uh, depth charges. Considering that we've destroyed four enemy ships and that there are six out here destroying an Amazon Prime delivery, I think we've done really good, especially by making them go boom. That's right. That is right. Okay, we're going to have to continue to manage the flooding as we are going to uh, continuously take on water until things are fully repaired, on which helm. Steady course. I don't think is going to happen. We have uh, flooding in the, uh, I believe, the ballast the, well, actually, the pumps. I don't know if we can actually get that fully repaired. Damage control parties. Lay to the engine room. Go to the reactor. Damage control parties. Lay to the reactor space. Okay. Well, let's continue on course. It's going to be a little while. Alright. This, this is getting intense. Now, I wasn't really nervous at all until we've gotten this far. Can't rig for ultra quiet. We're doing repairs, and there's a lot of flooding. Let's go ahead and get back to the pumps. Damage control parties. Lay to the engine room. All right, back to fire control. Damage control parties. Lay to the control room. Back to the reactor. Damage control parties. Lay to the reactor space. Damage control parties. Lay to the engine room. <laughs> this is gonna be. Damage control parties. An absolute Lay to the control party. Room. Damage control parties. Lay to the reactor space. Damage control parties. Lay to the engine room. Damage control parties. Lay to the control room. So the reason damage I have to do this is to, to get rid of the water. Parties. Damage control parties. Lay to the end. Damage control parties. As you can Lay see. Space. Wow, they got us good actually. Damage control parties. Lay to the engine room. Damage control parties. Lay to the control room. Damage control parties. Lay to the engine room. Damage control parties. Lay to the reactor space. Oh my goodness. All right, we've got lots of problems with flooding. Okay, let's see. Um, it's like a van from the 70s trying to start it up for the first time in a week. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get up this direction. Alright, get ready for damage control parties. We're having a damage control party here today. Damage control parties. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, you ugly. Where, where are you? There's got to be a closer one. He's over there listening. 
If only we were a World War II submarine and had that Flak 88 on the front or something, we'd be able to hit them. They're going to drop torpedoes shortly. Uh, control room? Tubes. Damage control parties. Lay to the control room. Uh, they actually got us good. This builds the excitement now. Good. Are we going to be able to make this? I hope so. Damage control parties. Lay to the reactor space. Damage control parties. Lay to the engine Here room. Here they come. Woo! Oh boy. Alright, time to run. Get our uh, cells going here. Down to 400. Make depth four. Three. Sonar. We are Doesn't matter. At this point, they know where we are. Let's get out of here. Screw, screw. Oh. How could you have told... How could you have known where I was? Huh? <laughs> Half our uh, boat is popping out. Making turns for one, five, not. Damage control parties. Way to the control room. All right. So we're going to keen... We're going to keep on uh, trying to uh, repair flooding, but... Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. I'm just trying to get out of here at maximum speed, get away from those helicopters. I don't want them dropping any torpedoes or anything. Alright, let's slow it down a bit. Make turns for one. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Yeah, I know. Uh, we got to go zero miles an hour to do that, but I don't want any more depth charges. Down to 88% on the hull. Only problem here is flooding. Control parties. Lay to the engine room. Make turns for... One, zero. Bring ship for ultra quiet. No, we don't want to do that. Come left to zero, nine, six, hell They know five. where we are. We're going to see torpedoes or something in a moment. They're stop, they've stopped their Come listening. Helm. Steady course. Look at all that flooding. My God. Con, dive at four, zero, zero, eight, dive by. The only way we're going to repair this is by going back to dry dock at this point. Damage control parties. Lay to the control room. Damage control parties. Lay to the engine room. Damage control parties. Lay to the control room. Damage control parties. Lay to the reactor space. Uh, the damage control parties can't do much anymore. All right, we're going to drop these guys off and return to our uh, dock. Oh, listening buoy. Zero four could still be in front of us been a hell of a mission so far. This is a video game, and this is exciting and fun, and I'm enjoying Come myself. Right Zero, and this is exactly nine, what this seven, game is supposed nine. to do. I like this. Good simulation so far of uh, submarine warfare. After destroying four ships and taking a couple hits only from depth charges, I'd say we're having a, ourselves a pretty good day. Down to 88%. That's way better than I thought we'd be doing. I thought I'd be dead on the first ship, to be honest with you. And uh, all we need now is to hope that Sierra 4 is nowhere near our deployment zone and uh, we're just going to have to get up to like periscope depth for the uh, Navy SEALs to deploy. Sonar regained contact on Sierra 4 bearing zero nine five. Oh great and it's coming right for us. Alright well couldn't have ended worse. Can we drop down here and go stealth maybe? Let's get out of the way of Sierra 4. Let's keep an eye on it now. We're out of weapons. So note to self, maybe better to avoid the first few ships and then engage other ships as you get closer, but it's it's hard to do that. Alright. So we're uh, going as, as fast as we can now. This is a hell of an interesting mission. Uh-oh. Something's firing. Nope. Looks like the helicopters gave up. I'm going to try to sneak in over there. Let's see if we can do that. We're having a lot of flooding. Damage control parties. Lay to the engine room. No, there's Damage no control parties. Lay to the control room. Nothing they can do now. Only thing those uh, depth charges managed to do was flood us a bit to slow us down and to uh, make us harder to maneuver. 
And the only way to repair this is by going back to our uh, main port. CR4 seems to be going very slow. That may possibly be a uh, civilian vessel or possibly a uh, merchant ship again. Boy, how would I love to mess up another... Please, I want to reload. I want to blow something up. All right, here we go. We don't have to be in the middle of this place, but let's try to set up below it. Come left to one zero six helm I. All right, here we go. Con helm, steady course. Ooh, boy, are we gonna have to be in real shallow water? Holy crap! All right, this is as fast as we can go at the moment. We still got our damage control parties on it. Look at th that is amazing. That is really cool. If only we hadn't gotten hit by depth charges, things would be a little different. But the uh, the hull's just been cracked a little bit. That's right. Some duct tape. I'll tell you what. Some duct tape, boys. A little bit of that uh, gorilla glue. Pff, better than she was. I'm just telling you. All right. Let's get into it then. Now, again, if you've dropped a helpful hint on, uh, you know, submarine warfare or any information, uh, thank you very much in advance, then. Greatly appreciate that, as I uh, will eventually be playing through the uh, South China Sea campaign, too. So this is more some practice of what we'll be engaging in the future. Sierra 4 is going awfully slow. Is that a whale? That's got to be a whale. What is Sierra 4? Let's, let's go ahead and find out what that is. Let's slow down time before we engage it. Nope, not a whale. Please just be an oil rig that is moving. <laughs> That's my only hope. Oh, God. Seratolov CL. It's a damn... It's 152 millimeter with a 30 millimeter sea whiz. Oh, boy. Oh, Con boy. Sonar, Sierra 4 is classified as capital ship. It's a capital ship. Damn. It's going to be the biggest battle of my life. Even bigger than my battle against um, getting open a pickle jar. All right, let's skirt, skirt. Awfully shallow water now. No escape from tor. No, we're not escaping from torpedoes. No way. No escaping that. Come left to zero five seven helm I. All right. Well, it's been good knowing you guys so far. Con helm, steady course. Appreciate all of you coming up, coming by yeah, to, Lay to the engine room. watch my burial. Eh, we're all right. We'll sneak by. What do you mean? We're not even touching the ocean floor. Is it making a noise because we're touching the floor? No, we're not. I'm just going to bring the back end up just a little bit. And we're good. Perfect. Skirt, skirt. Don't worry, guys. This thing is excellent to parallel park, too, by the way. I can park this thing anywhere, downtown or whatnot. This thing's pretty easy. Spec Ops in deployment zone. Come above 1,000 and stop. All right. Let's stop time. We're now in deployment zone. We could do this. Uh, come to 100 feet. Full stop. Make depth one zero zero feet. Make turn. Make turns for zero. Not maneuvering eye. All right, Navy SEAL should be able to ex maybe evade whatever ship's coming our way. Now raising ballast. It's going to be very slow with all that flooding. And the enemy capital ship is moving away from us. What is going on? Are they like, are they stuck? Hold on, this enemy ship's got to be stuck. What, he drive into the wall or something? I think this enemy capital ship drove into the wall. Oh, if only I had a torpedo. Um, or wait a minute, we have a team of Navy SEALs. That's even better. All right, we just need to come above 100 in order to deploy our Navy SEALs now, so we're at 200 feet. Let's speed things up here. And I think we might need to be at 99 just to trade. Oh, there we go. Specs team is away. Spec Ops in deployment zone, come above. Spec Ops team is away. Oh, my God. We did it. Oh my god, we did it. Uh, we're flooding enemy vessels nearby. Technically, we need to get away from this enemy ship in order to uh, leave combat, but I think that's all of our objectives. Let's uh, check in with the uh, 
There's options. What are the orders? I guess there's no more orders on this. Spec Ops team is away. Let's go ahead and uh, raise up to periscope depth and just see what's going on with the enemy ship, just to laugh at them. Alright, we're at 45 feet. Let's go ahead and up periscope, just to lols. <laughs> you thought I was bad at this game? Look at the Soviets, they drove into the wall. <laughs> oh man, you guys are noobs. Oh my god, look at you. Look at you. Look at you. This is why I won. They're worse than I am at this game. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go home. I'm going I'm I'm buying everybody Arby's. We're go we're going we're going to have some Arby's. Let's get out of here. Let's set depth for uh 200 feet. Ultra quiet. And uh let's get out of here. Oh my goodness. This is hilarious. Releasing ship from uh, ultra quiet. Let's eh, let's just go to uh, fire control. Let's get that water out of here. Oh wait, we got to put mass down before Oh 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 oh. Down scope. There we go. All right, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and uh, swing out of here. Let's go ahead and make course towards, uh, let's see, where's the nearest Arby's? I uh, think that might be the Arby's there. All right, so now all we got to do is basically get away from enemy ships, and we're good. Oh, uh, set speed. Mm, let's go to five. All right, and let's roll. Make turns for five knots. All right, Navy SEALs are doing their thing. Literally, they're probably just taking a little... Uh, they're probably just taking a tiny little raft over to that ship and are going to set demo charges on it. How embarrassing for the Soviets. A capital ship into the wall. Oh, yeah. Oh, make, make fun of me all you want. Make fun of me all you want. I didn't drive my capital ship into a wall. In fact, I skirt skirted a bond along the bottom of the ocean. All right, everyone. Well, I think that's it for today's mission. So thank you very much for joining me. I think all the only thing left to do to fully complete it is to uh, basically leave. I think if we leave combat, I think it'll be... Is it a fail or a mission complete? I don't know. Uh, we have flooding, which needs to be controlled in order to leave the area. Oh, okay. So basically what I'm going to do here is just base... I'm just going to spend some time driving out to the ocean. We'll evade any other ships. It shouldn't be too hard, and then we'll just get out here. So, But I'm not making it a five-hour episode to see that. So just assume everything was fine. We went to an Arby's, and it was great. Just like the wonderful and delicious taste of an Arby's. Let's get, guys, let's give it up for Arby's. All right. All right. Thank you, Boat. All right, that was it for the Soviet Navy. I'll see you all next time for more of Cold Waters. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Take care. All right. Have a good one, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Cold Waters campaign coming very soon. Thanks again for your helpful tips and everything. And let's all lols at whoever's triggered about submarine warfare down below in the... Ah, you didn't! Ah! Yeah, okay. I did, again, I didn't drive my capital ship into a wall. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay, bye.